video for saddle bracket for a 3D view. Uh, again, let's make sure that you are here in isometric drafting and you'll see the cursor change green to red and just remember you can change your orientation by pressing F5 and you're going to start out drawing this uh, line again um, make sure if you don't have this make sure you go here to menu bar enter and if it's a zero press one and enter again go to format dimension style modify and make sure you are in inches and two places to the right by going to primary units so we can choose that decimals is what you're looking for hit OK close it and come over to the A go down to drawing utilities go to units and make sure your precision is set at two places to the right decimal and we're in inches okay and what I've done here I've drawn a line by going here line picking any point coming down 1.75 and coming over 3.25 going up three quarters or 0.75 and here the thickness is half inch and I'm just looking at the book dropping this down the height from here to there is 0.75 so this would be one and this is a half inch in height here so you would complete this view and the depth of the part is two and a half so just draw Again, if you need to switch, go to F5, go to Line Command, draw here, make sure you're on a 30 degree angle. So you would draw, by drawing this line, you would pick the corner, type in 2.5, tab, 30 degrees, and then hit Escape. And then once you get that, let me just demonstrate that for you. Delete this one, come to Line choose this point and see I have object snap on if you don't have that I just come down here real quick right click left click grid settings go to object snap select all hit OK go to line click there type in 2.5 hit your tab and then type in 30 enter and hit escape and then what you can do you can just copy that copy this line here select the line pick this as your point you want to start at and just copy them all the way back here and then at this point you can draw a line same thing a half inch on a 30 degree once you have that you can start filling this in we have a one and a half gap here a height of 0.75 here so you're just going to use your line command pick your points you, you already have this drop down 0.75 go over 1.5 back up 0.75 and over half inch and you can complete this once you have that going to come to this point and you're going to go to elliptical you can use elliptical arc if I pick that you got to make sure you come down here to ISO circle choose ISO circle come up and select the midpoint of this line you'll get a little triangle right here make you know in order to get that if you have object snap you're going to see that then you're going to complete this arc and what you can do once you have this one you can just go to copy copy this arc 
from this point and bring it down to here and you'll have both of these arcs done. Now for the get rid of this now for the one inch diameter hole you're going to do the same thing you can just come here under ellipse hit that drop down and you can use axis in and once you choose it it's going to ask you you're going to create from the midpoint, a one inch diameter hole. And once you get everything completed here and trim everything off that you don't need, you should have a view like this. And the only thing missing I see here is the other you're going to see the back of that circle. So what you would do, just copy this. Let me see if I can do that. Copy. Copy that straight down like that. Come over to trim. Trim that off. And that'll be your final isometric. 